Hello everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. It's an honour for me to do a reading for you today. Before starting the reading today, first of all, I'd like to apologise to all of you. It's taken me a while to come back to um, doing these videos again. But I hope, with the help of angels, this will be regular from now on. So, today we're going to look into what's the gossip about you. There are three piles over here. This is the first pile, the leaf pile, the second pile, the clock pile, and the third pile, the flower pile. So please take a moment, meditate on the cards, and use your intuition to choose the pile. You could also pause the video to meditate on them. When you're ready, we'll begin with the first pile, um, that's the leaf pile. Today I'll be shuffling the cards live for you. And before starting, I'd also like to say that I am offering a personal reading and I'm also teaching tarot card reading. So if you're interested in any of the services, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below. And let's now begin. Welcome pile one, all those who have chosen the leaf pile. It's an honour for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into what is the gossip on you. Um, I have four set of cards today and I'll be shuffling the cards for you. The shuffling cards, the sound could be a bit too loud. So if you want, you could reduce the volume or you could fast forward it a bit to come to the actual reading. But pile one, I'd also like to say that I am offering a personal reading and I'm also teaching tarot card reading. So if you're interested in any of the services, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below. Okay, so I'm just going to go a bit quiet now because I would like to concentrate on the energy power one. Okay, part one. First of all, more than usual cards have come out. Right, I'll just come up to this. Let me open up all the cards first. So first we have your deceit. Hmm. Happy, happy. Here and now. The sun. Okay, the thinking man. Seven of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Tower. King of Swords. And Three of Pentacles. Okay, let me just spread out the cards and I'm just going to tune into the energy here for you. Okay, Pawan, while shuffling the cards, I did feel that there, there were many cards falling out for you. Okay, more than I wanted to. And it's just giving me the strong feeling over here that there are many people actually who are gossiping about you, way too many. So there could have been some major event that has happened in your life that is triggering all this gossip. And I feel it's probably something you um, already know. Okay, it could be, so it could be at a phase of your life where either things are going extremely bad or extremely good. Okay, and it's an extreme feeling here, which I'm sensing. So we have two cards over here that's happy, happy and sun. They're very joyful cards, actually, right? So I do feel that people are definitely not very excited about your excitement around, okay? So um, the more you are coming into your power, the more you are showing people how strong you are, how happy you are, the more it's giving birth to a lot of gossips, okay? Now, first of all, I do feel that, especially with the Deceit card over here, that there is someone around you that is spreading a lot of rumours. 
I am not getting the feeling that it is um, kind of true or if it's true as well it is someone who is backstabbing you so it is someone whom probably you are very close to it could be one of your best friend or someone whom you confide to and that person out there is spreading um, all this gossip about you okay we have to see it so if there is someone or there are people with whom you're sharing um, your personal stories with just take a step back and think who it could be okay uh, do you think that people at work are looking at you slightly differently maybe it could be one of your co-worker do you feel your friends are looking at you slightly differently it could be one of your closest friends okay so there is someone here whom you're not expecting with whom you're probably opening your heart up because happy happy is right next to it okay so it's someone with whom you trust completely who knows a lot about you and that's the person out there who is spreading room um well the thing is yeah it could be rumors but for some of you it could be some you know something true as well but of course you know we all have something um about our lives and this is again someone whom you've trusted with all your heart and soul so it's something to be a bit cautious that whom are you sharing your your secrets with okay so um yes i do sense that the gossip about you first of all it's about a major event that's happened in your life um, it could be a breakdown of something. It could be breakdown of career relationships. Um, but again, you're coming, you're looking as if you are very happy out there. So the gossip is basically that this person has gone through so much. Why are they not looking sad? Or probably it's something which you are going through in secret. Like maybe you're having a very difficult relationship or you're struggling with your finances or you're not happy in your job. Um, or maybe you're, you know, you're studying and you're finding it very difficult, but you're not showing people your problems you're not coming across as that person who is experiencing um all this burden in life who's carrying all this burden around you're coming across as someone who looks stunning who looks beautiful who is so happy so people are wondering that why are you not showing that side to you okay how are you still so sorted and that's a very big thing because that is what many people are unable to do um, if you are working or if you're studying, you're coming across as someone who is a very hard worker and is always on the go. You are coming across as someone to be very productive out there. Someone, basically you're coming across as someone who is, you know, life has not knocked you down. Even at your work or even in your studies, for example, you are giving all, you've been given all these responsibilities and all these persons, but somehow or the other, you've always come out successful okay i'm not seeing here that externally you're coming across as someone who has failed to do their job so there is a lot of inner strength here that people are talking about they're talking about that how is this person so productive how is this person managing all of this chaos in their life they're going to so much seven of wands as well resilience is coming across as a very chaotic energy here so you are to be seen as someone. People are saying that, you know, this person looks very, very busy. They look like they have so much going on. How is it possible that they are still successful? How is it possible that they've still not made any mistakes? Now, although um, there is a side to you where people really admire your beauty, actually, externally as well, you're coming across to be someone very attractive and very happy. And this vibe of yours, this happiness vibe of yours as well, is something that you give it to other people. Okay, so when there is an interaction that you have with another person, that person automatically feels this happy energy and it also uplifts them in some way or the other. But there is a side to you as well that comes up to be very serious. Okay, you, if you know you need to get a work done, you will put your head down and do it. So there is this beautiful balance actually between both sides, but it can be a bit extreme. So you are coming across as someone who is very extreme, this happy side as well as this very serious side. But I am sensing that one of the gossip for you as well, it's a lot related to your um, material side. So it could be there is a lot of um, gossip happening in your work environment. Or if you're not work, um, if you're self-employed as well, there could be other people out there talking about your work. So it's this thing there, um, where they feel that you are getting new opportunities presented in front of you. And it looks like it's a beautiful start for you 
to have this um, career growth. So if you're in an organization, if you're in a corporate place, people feel that you have been presented an opportunity out there, which you are kind of achieving, you're achieving that success, but it also feels like someone out there is giving you this opportunity. So King of Swords here could be this person here, this male figure out there who is coming across to be very important in your life. Okay, this male figure could be a male energy, but I'm feeling a real more like a masculine strength out there. Okay, so it could be where if it's a work environment, this masculine person is giving you this opportunity, but there also could be rumors about you and this masculine person. Okay, it could be where maybe um, if it's not a work environment, it could be in your relationship, you've had some disputes with a masculine person, but there is um, gossip around this masculine figure in your life. Okay, even if you're a male watching this, it could be with another male out there. All right, but there is this person out here who is either could be in a good way, they are providing you that financial support, that financial growth, or with whom you've had major misunderstandings out there. So it could be, again, like an extreme. But again, I would say just be careful of this energy out here, which I'm sensing of this particular person who's coming across to be, I feel this person could be someone very... Um, caring okay they would be like yes share with me what is it what's the problem you know and next next time this person is just going around and spreading things about you so just be careful because this person here there is someone around you Pawan, who is extremely jealous i'm getting this jealous energy out there that's filled with red okay there is a lot this person is not happy seeing you happy Okay, so this kind of is more like a slight warning sign for you or this red flag for you, which I guess it's good for you to find out right now before it gets too late, isn't it? So um, just try along, just play along. If you know there is someone in your mind like that, just tell this person something and see if it spreads or not. If it does, you will know exactly um, what this person is up to. All right, pal one, I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Um, if you'd like a personal reading or if you'd like to learn tarot card reading, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome, pal two. All those who have chosen the clock. Pile, it's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into what's the gossip about you. So today I have four sets of cards and I'll be uh, shuffling the cards live for you. If you find the sound too loud, please reduce the volume and you're more than welcome as well to um, fast forward it to the reading. Uh, pile two, I'd also like to say that if you're interested in a personal reading or if you'd like to learn tarot card reading, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below okay and i'm just gonna go a bit quiet now so i can tune with your energy here pal too Okay, so pile two, we first have here woman holding a coin, flexible, TikTok, wow, it's so interesting, we have the clock here and TikTok here, so there could be something meaningful out there for you, we'll have a look in a while, clean it up. Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Prince of Cups, have the Temperance, and the Magician. Okay, pile two, we'll just sort this out. OK, 
Okay, and I'll just tune into the energy, yeah. Pal 2. So interestingly, like I said in the beginning, the clock came up in TikTok. So I'm going to start with that. So the gossip around you could be, you could be either someone, take it however it resonates, pal one, who is always on time, very, very punctual. You could be someone who could have a slight OCD spectrum as well. Okay. So, um, and the reason this could come up as a gossip, because maybe it does disturb you if someone is late, if someone is not on time, that could be something up. Or the second thing is you could be someone who is never on time, for whom coming on time is actually a problem, okay? So I feel it could be one or the other, but this could this is standing out here for you, I sense, okay? But I am feeling a sense that you could be someone who is much more particular, actually. Although we have it a card flexible, but again, with this flexible is someone who in their position is trying to make things happen. So you could be a multitasker who's able to do so many things, um, which people find it difficult. And within that particular span of time, so it could be someone who's very quick in doing their work, very, very efficient. So it's more positive here, I'm sensing for you. Um, it's someone whom everybody would love this person to be in their team. Definitely, if you are at work, okay, if you're someone who is employed, self-employed, anything, but you are very valued here, pal too, I feel that you generate a lot of income for the company. You are a main person. You are someone who's very, very treasured here, I am sensing, okay? If you're not working, then definitely as well, I do feel that a lot of people do depend on you. They depend on your mind. They depend on your intellect. They depend on on you to be able to support them. So you are coming across as someone who's very dependable here, I'm sensing. Someone whom people can trust on, people can rely on. If you do say that an, you know, a task would be completed in the next 48 hours, you will make sure it's done within 48 hours. Okay, you will do anything to kind of complete that task within time. So very, very efficient and productive here. Now, I you do come across as well as someone to be a perfectionist. If you're not happy with something, even if it takes time, you would want to make it done correctly. And this sometimes, like I said, this uh, the reason it's coming across as gossip, because although these are wonderful traits here, sometimes this could be a little bit um, difficult for someone else. For example, if someone else is working with you and they're not as efficient as you, they might feel a little bit undervalued when they're put next to you or when they put in comparison to you. So there is this sense coming up. And that's why this is not, you are coming across as a very strong individual. And it's not for everyone to be able to stand next to you because you do overpower and overshadow people here, I'm sensing. So the gossip about you is also that you're coming across as a very strong individual, someone whose intuition instinct is extremely strong. You're very comfortable here with yourself. And you could be slightly different as well in your own ways. Maybe you're someone who doesn't really follow the trends. You would wear what you feel you're comfortable with, right? Or you would do things what you truly believe in. So you're more self-assured here, okay? It's not like you, um, you're you not coming across as someone very vulnerable. You, you do what you truly believe in. Now, with a Page of Cups and Prince of Cups, they both are very new cup energy here so i am sensing a kind of new love that is building up so this could be this gossip about you maybe it could be that you have a crush on someone or someone has a crush on you or someone likes you here but there and it is kind of mutual because we have your two sides and it is something new as well so it could be where many people do not know about it okay so it could be very very um um at a beginning stage at an early stage out there but that could be someone which is um, also, this rumor could be something or this gossip could be something which is going around. And while spreading the cards to, I must say, pal too, that I feel that a lot of this gossip that's happening about you has not reached your ears. So, for example, for pile one, um, a lot of the gossip, it, you know, it's possible that they know about it or they've heard about it or they're expecting it. For you, it looks like you are so focused on yourself, on your life, that you've maybe not made the attempt to kind of, you know, talk to people to find out what's happening. But I don't think that 
what I'm saying right now has really reached you. Yes, someone could tell you this directly, but you don't you don't even realize that probably people are gossiping about you. Okay, that's the feeling you're I'm getting. And I do feel though that right now regarding this person who maybe you like or who likes you back, or if you're not sure who this person is, fine, it could be one way. But this love interest here is sparking a lot of gossip. We have here the magician and mirror. This could be and the temperance. So um if you don't feel that if you feel that you don't have anyone in your life, then it could be this person with whom you speak a lot with. It could be someone with whom you have a very good communication with. And again, there could be gossips that maybe there is a spark between the two of you because I'm seeing a lot of spark. I'm seeing this beautiful communication out there that you have with a particular person here. And you and this person are marrying each other. So you and this person here could be very similar. The way you are focused on your work, the way you would like things to be um in order, presentable, perfect, this person could be very similar as well, okay? Yes, it could be very, very similar, I'm sensing here. Um, there could be, there could be here a lot of difference still between the two of you. Maybe there could be um, this age gap, this culture difference. There could be this major difference out there. But I'm sensing, I'm not feeling this more like a long distance, Okay, I'm feeling this more like you and this person do communicate with each other. You talk on the phone, you probably meet this person in person, but there is something here. Okay, and this is what people have seen. People have noticed this um, spark between the two of you out there. Now, the other gossip here, um, which I'm sensing, pile two, is um, I feel that you are a very empathetic person. You are someone who is actually very, you could be very emotional as well. But this might not be the side that you show everyone. To show people you're someone very sorted, you're someone very, um, you could be, you know, very serious as well. And you're very focused out there in your work or in whatever you're doing. But you could come across as well to be someone who's very sharp. Okay, who's someone quite blunt. And this sometimes as well people realize that they cannot mess with you too much and as much as you know you are wonderful to talk to you're like a very good communicator as well you speak well and you handle conflicts as well very well but they know that you are someone not to get messy with okay they should not come on your bad side because here very easily you could um, remove people from your life you will not hesitate to cut people off who do not serve you at all. And although um, people have not experienced this, right, they have sensed this within you. Or it could be where maybe you've mentioned stories of how you've just cut people off. So they know it, they sense this, and that's why they do not want to be um, on the bad side, okay? But, however, they do also are aware that you try your best to kind of merge in. You try your best, especially with the flexible, you try your best to kind of handle situations, to make everything work out. You do whatever you can do in your capacity, right, to make things work for you. So people actually really, really treasure you, pal, too. Definitely. Okay, and these gossips that are happening about you, they are normal. That would happen in a person's life. And I feel if someone is talking about us, it is good right in a way that means someone somewhere is thinking about us right but um yeah that's all i see for you pal too i hope you resonated with this reading if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe i am offering a personal tarot reading soul reading and i'm also teaching tarot card reading so if you're interested in any of the services you could email me my email address is mentioned in the description below and i'll see you in my next video take care goodbye Welcome, Paltry, all those have chosen the flower pile. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. So, Paltry, we're now going to look into what's the gossip on you. I have four set of decks and I'll be shuffling the cards like for you today. If you find the volume a bit too loud while shuffling, um, please reduce the volume or you can fast forward it if you like. And 
pile three i'd also like to mention that i am offering a personal tarot reading and i'm also teaching tarot course so if you're interested in any of the services you could email me my email address is mentioned in the description below so i'm just going to go a bit quiet now pile three because i'd like to tune into the your energy but what is the cost of you Okay, pile three. So first we have your the Empress. Goddess of the Moon. Fourth Chakra. Justice. No place like home. Mending. Three of Wands, Four of Wands, and Round and Round. Okay, Pile 3, I'll just tune into the energy here. Pile 3, so I am sensing you first of all that people are mesmerized by you, okay? The gossip about you is coming up is that how beautiful you look how do you do that how do you carry yourself and you do have this persona of being very wealthy okay the way you carry yourself it looks like you look wealthy you look from an affluent background okay and it could be that don't know paltry it could be that maybe you know the way you do your makeup the way you do your hair the way you dress up, it could be anything. Now, a lot of you might say that, oh no, I'm not, and how could people think that? But again, that is what people think about you, okay? Maybe, yes, you use public transport instead of having your own transport as well, and you'll be wondering how could people think that? But again, they are not looking at it from that perspective. That's the grace with which you carry yourself, okay? You come across as someone extremely abundant, and people actually think that you do have a lot of wealth, okay? Whether you have it or not, Paltry, that's a different um, story altogether, but that's how you come across. They must be thinking, or, you know, if you do travel, they must be talking about um, where all you've traveled to. And that is, yeah, that's strongly, strongly coming out for you, Paltry, right? Probably even it now the thing is even if you've discussed with someone and told them that maybe you're struggling with your money I don't think they believe you paltry because like I said, they do feel that you are someone who has a lot of wealth or you could be You know, um, you would one day potentially have um, an inheritance or you your family could be wealthy So there is some link here which they're finding with you and with wealth. Okay now They also feel, though, that you could be someone a little bit sensitive. Okay, you could be someone who takes things to heart, especially with the goddess and the fourth chakra here, the um, the heart chakra that's come up. So you could come across as someone who is a bit sensitive out there. So maybe you empathize with people much more. So they are a bit cautious, though, because they sometimes wonder that they they don't know how you would react. Okay, or maybe they have seen your reaction where maybe. Um, you've shed tears somewhere or the way you've spoken it kind of just felt that you're more like a heart-centered person so you're not a very um, they don't see you as someone who is very um, materialistic you think more from your heart okay so it's a very interesting combination where they feel that maybe you already have so much of wealth around you that that is not a driving force for you that is not a driving factor for you for you what's coming across as a driving factor is emotions and is heart um, they could also feel that maybe some of you wear your heart on your sleeves. Okay, that's the vibe here I'm getting for you. And there is this very um, 
romantic feeling as well coming up. So if any of you are in a relationship, um, you could come across as someone who is very in love out there with your partner. Um, if you are single out there, again, there could be gossip about you that maybe you're interested in someone, maybe there's something going on out there. And that person with whom you're talking with, you could potentially end up having being married with that person because it's a marriage card. I'm seeing it like a partnership card. OK, so if you're in a relationship, you seem to be very happy out there with a the person. If you're just dating someone or even if you're just friends with someone, they kind of feel that there is a gossip about your pal three that you are going to end up marrying that person here because like they feel that you are a very heart centered person. You're not someone out there to play games. You're not someone here who is uh, looking at things from a very practical perspective. If you feel that emotion towards someone, you would be there with that person. Now, yeah, coming out there though, the other gossip about you, Pal 3, is that you are not coming across to be someone very grounded, okay? With the way maybe you talk, it sounds more like a dream, okay? It feels like you have a lot of dream in your eyes out there. And it could be where things are not very practical yet. So, for example, if you are in a connection here, you could be talking about your marriage, although you're not even engaged yet. OK, things like that. So it's not a very grounded energy here. Like I said, there it didn't feel like a pentacle energy, like a grounded energy. Even here, no place like home. It's a beautiful card, but this is kind of up in the air. OK, it's not it's not in the ground that will make it more stable here. So they feel like stability is not in your life especially the round and round it's like sometimes if an incident happened the cycle keeps repeating and they feel for you actually Paltry. they're not uh talking about this in a very nasty way or in a very um you know horrible way they feel for you i feel that as people here are gossiping about you they are i'm not getting a nasty energy okay they are probably your close ones as well, but they care for you. And that's the reason why they kind of know you well, maybe. And they feel that things just, cycles just keep repeating in your life. And they wish that you could break free as well from that. But again, is you are such a kind-hearted person. Maybe, for example, if someone broke your trust, you trust someone else again very easily, you know, and that cycle keeps repeating. Um, again, so they actually worry for you, Paltry. They worry that, for example, if someone has hurt you, they worry that hopefully you do not trust someone else very quickly again and you do not get hurt again. OK, so I'm actually getting a very um, beautiful energy here. They actually want to help you and work with you. So a lot of them actually do feel like they wish they were closer to you. I did feel while shuffling the cards that probably you do not let a lot of people in into your life. With this, that yes, you empathize with people, you do help them, but you do not let everyone enter your inner circle. Okay, and here I feel that people want to enter your inner circle. Maybe a lot of your friends as well have not even seen where you live. Maybe a lot of your friends have not even been to your home for a lunch or dinner. OK, so it's like you are coming across as a very private person out there. Yes, you will be emotional. You will talk. You will have this conversation, but you will not allow everyone ill into your private life unless you intuitively feel that you can trust a person. OK, but they feel that every time your intuition does not turn out to be correct. Um, with the justice truth, I'm sensing that they actually feel that um, you should be more, because of the emotional right, they feel that you should be more blunt, okay? You should be speak up a bit more and be more honest about what you're actually thinking and feeling, okay? Because they feel that sometimes you sugarcoat things, okay? You actually don't... Uh... Okay, pile three, I don't know what happened to that. Wow, did you see that? Okay. I usually would. That's fine. <laughs> OK, I usually would edit it. OK, but for this pile three, I'm not going to do that because I feel it's come as a message. And the funny part is it comes straight on justice. They feel that the gossip on you, pile three, is that you're dimming your own light. OK. 
because I did kind of see before that that the lights were kind of going up it was getting a bit darker than brighter right so you are dimming your own light pal three so what is it pal three that you're not speaking up what is it that you're not honest about here is it that you're not happy with someone and you're pretending to be happy is it that you know you do not want to hurt people and that's why you're probably not telling them what they're supposed to hear what is it so that's the thing of you that they feel that you're always very nice you're always just accepting and you're not putting your foot down it could be where maybe you're in a situation or in a relationship that you're just enduring okay maybe you're the job that you're just enduring or maybe it's your friend circle that you're just being nice to them because you need a friend circle so what is it this fear is stopping you from speaking up okay and it's probably something you already know and because what just happened now i just kind of feel it's a sign um from the angels from the universe that pal three you need to start speaking up okay believe in it don't be scared don't be afraid yes if you speak up what just happened now there could be this tower moment that would come up but like you did see we started again okay we did start again and our life has continued so more than the gossip i would feel that pile three this is probably a beautiful message for you from the universe that don't be scared don't be scared of starting things again don't be scared of breaking connections and relationships it could be right here because i'm seeing that you know you do not actually like um breaking up you do not like to fall out to have a fallout with anyone and you always want to have this beautiful relationships and connections with people maybe or maybe there's a sort of fear that you do not want to hurt someone it just hurts you even with the thought of hurting someone else emotionally okay so here it's a message that sometimes we need to stand up for the truth the truth can be painful the truth can sometimes end things as well but that is what is going to serve you in the long run. Pal 3, I'm just going to pull out one more message for you because I'm just intuitively getting the feeling. Okay. A message for Pal 3, please. Oh. Three cards, that's fine. Ace of Swords, speak up. We have it a world. And we have a Four of Swords. Okay. Pal 3. Your guides, your angels, whoever you believe in, they are helping you. You are protected. Do not worry and just speak up, okay? The world here, you have, people will still come out in your support. You're not going to be alone. You're not going to be left out in the cold, okay? And this, I feel, is the gossip about you. And again, like I said, the gossip is not from people, malicious people or deceitful people. No, they are from people who truly care for you, pal three, and they'll actually be there for you you'll be surprised of how many people will actually be there in your support all right pal three i hope you resonated with this reading if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe i am offering a personal reading and i'm also teaching tarot card reading if you're interested in any of the services you could email me my email address is mentioned in the description below and i'll see you in my next video take care goodbye